The whole idea of the whole piece is that the, the ensemble is performing and it's as if the piano is resonating with the ensemble, like this sort of, this sort of live being. The piano has a very particular place in, in music history um, and it also has a very particular mechanism. We partly recognize the piano by the distinctiveness of its percussive attack. And it's, it's strange in a way to, to talk about a piano in this way because we think of, this, of the piano as this all music instrument, but it does have its very own, very particular timbre. And so what I thought was, what about taking this, this kind of absolute music instrument and transforming it in a way that it no longer even sounds like a piano. It becomes this just fantastically resonant instrument that has so many capacities. It's captured by microphones, the sound of the ensemble. There's a transformation of that, and that's uh, played through, through transducers and in a certain way to try to get resonant frequencies of the, uh, of the strings to sound. But also, um, I've been working with a colleague here at Goldsmiths, uh, Konstantin Leonenko. We're building together an interface which causes the strings of the piano to sound by a mechanism. It vibrates very quickly and very lightly and just barely touches the strings of the piano. When you press down a key of the piano and lift off the damper and let the string freely vibrate, then that note sounds. So in a way, yes, I've been making sort of augmented instruments which have different ways in, in which they're sounding. Well, I think when we think of electronic music, we often think of something that's very different from the physical world. We have difficulty saying, how is that sound produced? Uh, and so basically, by using electronics to stimulate instruments through, I guess I would say, a kind of robotics, uh, what happens is that we, we do have a changed image of the, of the instrument and we have a changed function. And as you could hear, the instrument does sound differently, but we still have this physical relationship. What I'm really interested in is this, this kind of intersection between the two, um, how we could make this physical world that we know not enhanced but, but transformed in some way.